your news on the go. Casanova High School, the high school only, is transitioning to remote learning today. A faculty member tested positive for COVID-19. The superintendent sending out a letter to families this morning saying they learned about this positive case around 8 o'clock last night. They say the move is out of an abundance of caution, but additional remote days may be necessary. The Madison County Department of Health is beginning their contact tracing this morning. The letter also saying the investigation includes students attending BOCES CTE programs. We'll update you about this as we learn more about the case at Casanova High School. One week after Tammy Mahoney was last seen hitchhiking somewhere on Route 46 in 1981, a wallet was anonymously dropped off at the Oneida Police Department. Now the FBI thinks that wallet may be the final piece of the puzzle they need to solve the investigation into her disappearance. At some point, investigators talked to the owner of the wallet and as they learn more, they now want to speak to them again. The FBI is also urging the person who dropped off that wallet way back then to call them now. And in Oneida County, a judge has denied a request to withdraw the guilty plea in the death of Bianca Devins. Cicero native Brandon Clark admitted earlier this year to killing Devins and posting photos of her body on social media. He testified that he realized a large amount of evidence was missing and he told the court that had he known that, he wouldn't have pleaded guilty. The judge disagreed. Sent sentencing is scheduled for November 10th. High turnout once again for early voting on yesterday, the fourth day. In Onondaga County alone, more than 7,000 people showed up to the polls yesterday. Tompkins County reports more than 1,800. Oswego County, more than 1,000. All of those counties setting new records for the earliest voters on a single day in each county. And the entire Oswego Boys Varsity soccer team is now in quarantine after one of Baldwinsville's players recently tested positive for COVID-19. The two teams played one another this past Saturday, the 24th. All Oswego Boys soccer games and activities are suspended suspended until further notice. And the State University of New York has adopted a new policy. They now mandate all students who use on-campus facilities in the SUNY system must test negative for COVID-19 within 10 days before leaving campus for Thanksgiving. SUNY campuses must create schedules to test as close to a student's final day on campus as possible. And the Fayetteville Manlius Turkey Trot is going online this year. You can run any day up to Thanksgiving, any time, any route. Proceeds from the virtual fundraiser will benefit FM sports programs. It costs 20 bucks to register. Online registration is open until Thanksgiving Day.